Hello everybody, this is Jen from livingfreelyglutenfree.com. I've been trying to give a lot of reviews on beauty products because I'm obsessed with them and it's hard to find gluten-free products, let alone ones that are actually worth buying. So I recently did a review on my blog about my favorite sunless tanners because I am a redhead, so I do not tan, I turn red, and if I want any type of color whatsoever, it has to come out of a bottle. So I've tried them all. Even before I was gluten-free, I had tried a ton. And um, my two favorite tanners are the Tarte Brazilian's Tanner. This is the big bottle from qvc.com. Um, I use enough of it to where I need the mother load. And then my other favorite is Hemp's. I love all of their stuff. I'm obsessed. But this is their gluten-free uh, lotions. Uh, all their products are gluten-free. But this is a daily moisturizer. So you can use this once or twice a week to have a tan. It'll, you know, establish a tan for you. And then you can use this in between on top of it to build your tan. Um, the Tarte comes with this amazing little mitt. And you put it on your hand and you're able to distribute it evenly all over your body. You're able to see the color right when it goes on so you know if you need to rub it in or if you have streaks. Um, one of the most important parts of putting on a tan is getting ready for it. You have to exfoliate. I recommend shaving and, um, and then exfoliating. Uh, Shea Moisture and a few other brands make some great scrubs and so it's, it's good to use those on your dry areas like your feet, your elbows, your knees, um, wrists, ankles. Make sure you exfoliate really well, shave, and then let your body dry thoroughly. And then what I like to do is um, put on my base tan. And then in those dry areas like the elbows and the wrists, you want to take a moisturizer, a lotion, and just a little bit of it and rub it into those areas because that helps uh, make it so that if you have dry spots, the tanner is not going to seep into those dry spots and leave little uh, creases and wrinkles that don't look cute at all. So um, having some lotion on hand to rub into those spots uh, is important. And then if you have an accident and you need to get color off, I've learned a few lessons over the years. And um, citrus is a great thing for rubbing alcohol. So I'd recommend putting a little bit um, on a cotton ball and kind of just cleaning that area where you have a little bit too much and it should fade off a little bit. And the good news is, is that um, you can always cover up until it fades off eventually. But these two products, are awesome. You can find them on Amazon. I have my link in the blog post, which I'll share in the comments um, for this video. And uh, this is really all you need for your entire summer, you in, in all year, if you want to have color all year. I live in California, so I need color on my arms um, most of the time. But these are, are going to be your two go-to sunless tanners. This is all you're going to need to get through the year. And they're both gluten-free. They're both uh, safe for you. They don't have parabens or sulfites. I know that tart is vegan, cruelty-free. Um, Hemp's is uh, very similar to that. Um, you know, they only have the good stuff in, in their things. And, and that's what I like. That's what I'm looking for. They also, they don't stink. And that's important too with sunless tanners. We all know that you put them on and then 20 minutes later you start smelling yourself in disgust. And that's not the case with these two. They actually smell pretty good. I really like the smell of this one. Um, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions about sunless tanners, applying sunless tanners, please ask me. Um, I've been putting on tanner for years. A lot of people do tell me, um, that my tan looks great. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have brown skin. It's just not going to happen. And the great thing about these tanners is they give you that natural glow. And that's all I need. I'm, I'm trying to just look uh, normal and not pasty pale. So that's what these two tanners provide for me. So if you have any questions, please ask. I'd love to be able to answer um, anything. 
and try these out. Let me know how you like them. Or if you found something that you think is amazing, please share with me. All right, guys. Have a happy summer.